there are so many aspects to this game that just piss me off. And I'm gonna get to the first one. It, it has to be the controls. Now, this might be a problem with me and Resident Evil altogether share, but who the fuck can't move and ready a gun at the same time? Who has to stand there like a fucking idiot while drones are coming towards you and you're just sort of like... You can hold a gun up and walk at the same time. Like, seriously, how can you fuck up a mechanic that the Medal of Honor series and... And also, oh, most modern shooters nowadays do. How can you fuck up a mechanic that Left 4 Dead could pull off? How to shoot and run at the same time. Look, I know that you really want to hold on to your predecessor of being Resident Evil and following the rules and not shooting and running at the same time. But, um, no. Fuck that. Get up with the times. He-Man over here, Chris Redfield, I'm not gonna let this go. He-Man over here has enough fucking bulging muscle to do three things and run at the same time, but you're not gonna let him shoot a gun and run to move. Oh, this is where it gets worse though. You can't move and swing a knife at the same time. The point of wielding a knife is to be able to move out of the fucking way, but no, like a dumbass, I'm controlling Shiva, she pulls her knife out and she's just sort of like waiting for them to just come by and, and shank a little, like, Get off your ass and go! Go stab it! What the fuck? Like, that's just this mechanic. This fucking mechanic that could be easily solved. But no, we have to stand there like a total fucking dumbass while dogs are ripping our ass from behind or we're getting a hatchet to the back. Oh, by the way, that's not scary. It's fucking annoying when people come out of nowhere to just swing in your back. It's not scary. You have to have atmosphere to be scary. That's not fucking scary. Okay, done with that. Uh, this game, though, this game, probably in direct reply of the Resident Evil 4 series, has to be the equipment. Yes, your storage space. Nine boxes of storage space. No, no upgrades. No, no improvements. No modifications to it. You are stuck with nine items. So, while it may not seem that bad, I know that a lot of people have already complained about this. Hell, I'm already bitching about this game, and I'm three years behind. But how... How can you fuck up a mechanic like that? Like, you couldn't just give us the briefcase from Resident Evil 4, because that's what you were going with. That's exactly what they look like. Except now, instead of being a very unique, like, uh, briefcase or a weapon case that Leon had in the Resident Evil 4 games, no, they give us this just 3x3 three three grid of shit we can hold on to. So, okay, look, it may not sound that bad, unless you consider, like, every fucking thing that you need to hold on to. You need to have a space for your weapon. You need to have a space for your ammo. You have to have a space for an herb. Not herbs, a herb. One herb per slot. And you know, for those who haven't known the Resident Evil series, you basically take weed and you eat it. Not really, but... you. Uh, mix herbs to get, you know, higher, to get your bigger health boost, bigger health heal, but, uh, well, it's gonna suck when you have, let's see, three cases of ammo, two weapons, uh, body armor, machine, like, bulletproof, a bulletproof vest, and, uh, I'm just saying, this stuff stacks up. This stuff could have easily been avoided. Why couldn't we just get a simple list of all the stuff that we're hanging on for because this fucking pack is bullshit. It really is. You can't even get ammo sometimes because you're so full of crap. Like you got grenades over here that you can't use until you get into combat and ammo just disappears. Like you only have like about a minute to get ammo before it just vanishes. Well, you better manage quick enough. Management. That's the next part of this game I'm getting on to. So every time between chapters, or chapter parts, you get the most boring, unfeeling, like, breaking immersion kind of shop and, and sort, uh, to shop and sort for all your crap ever possible. Like, it's just a list. No merchant this time. No, like, 
no intercom like, you know, hey, uh, I got some stuff for you. It looks like I got a new item. Why don't you come buy this stuff and I'll deliver it to you? No, it's just the sort of list like, okay, now it's time to, you know, sell treasure. And now it's time to, you know, upgrade your weapons and st stuff. I don't know where you are. Do you know? Like, that's the thing. It, it, there's a there's just time between every place where our main characters are at and all of a sudden it's like management and it's fucking annoying because you're gonna spend most most of your time in management in shit management managing your shit putting this box into this box and this box into this box and this into this and buying this and selling that and upgrading that it's bullshit now with this look I know there are a lot of mechanics, and I know that there's a lot of stuff to work on. But, that's not the game I was playing. Not the game I was playing this weekend. And, uh, I don't feel like I have much resistance to really, you know, oh, don't, don't, you know, you don't have shit to say against the big old Resident Evil series. Uh, yeah, I do. You know, this is the kind of qual- I, when I think of Resident Evil, when I think of the Capcom games that make them the most money, I better get fucking quality here. And Resident Evil, I knew I was steering away for as much as I can because I knew Resident Evil 5 was going to be a piece of shit. And it was. It's... It... Somehow it's gotten good grades on most video game sites, but no. I guess it's not enough. I guess it's not... I guess it's too much for me to comprehend, you know? Not enough for me to get past my little casual gamer brain.